like to show you how to tie a jig nymph. The materials we are going to use in this fly. For the body we use a few fibers from a CDC feather. The body is made out of uh, rabbit fur. I use hairline dubbing. The ribbing material is a single strand of uh, Flashaboo Mirage and the thorax is made out of a pinch of ice top. After having put the tungsten bead on, we attach the thread. We wind it down about halfway down the shank. There we tie our tail in. You use just a few fibers of CDC and make them rather long as well so they really can move a lot in the water. After having that tied in and trimming off the surplus, we tie in our rib. It's one strand of Flashaboo, or to be more specific, Flashaboo Mirage. And we run the thread down the hook shank all the way to the bend, like that. Then we put our dubbing on. You don't want that much dubbing. I suggest you make this fly as slim as possible though you do wish to give it a taper. I tie this fly to imitate uh, large dark olives and similar mayflies, but it's a generic pattern. I will start by making a very thin drop of dubbing and then I increase it. A little more dubbing. You will dub the body almost immediately next to the bead, but save just a little room for a thorax. We're going to complete the fly with some ice dub, though not very much. Like that. Ah, that's excellent. Then we wind our rib. Don't make too many turns. I believe the flash boot becomes dominant if you do. So maybe five turns or something like that. I think is about right amount of flash. Secure it with a tying thread. and cut off the waist end. Then to complete the fly we wind a thorax. I use some uh, caddis green ice stub. You don't need very much. This might just be a little too much in my opinion. Dub it rather tight and make the thorax not too long, but you can make it a little more bulky if you wish to. And whip finish. And that's all there is to this nymph. You might want to spread out some of the dubbing, but other than that I like to have make this fly rather compact. Not only the ballast, the tungsten, makes the fly sink, but also how thin you make it, and therefore I want to make it rather sparse if I can. And also it is a mayfly nymph, they aren't as bulky as caddis pupas for example.